Everyone, we are so glad that you are able to join us here on the Nozone. Now, this is a place where we have a lot of fun while we learn. I am Janet. I am Ch Ch Charlie. And I am Marara. Ra! Uh, Marara, what's with the oven meat puppet thing? Well, it's, it's because I'm ready for today's topic. Oh. Right? Okay, Marara. We have so much lined up for today's show. Y <laughs> yeah, we, we have a lot of stuff lined up for today's show. So let's get started. Why don't we go into the chill out zone and meet our friends? A puppet. <laughs> what, is it hot in here? Yes. Oh, how hot. Hello, everyone. Hey! Well, let's say a big hello to everyone who's watching us at home. Hey! Excellent. Now, we are so glad to have you here helping us with today's fun. And for you at home, thanks for tuning in. Who is going to tell us what today's episode is all about? It's about home and activities in the home. Oh, oh, oh Charlie, Charlie, Charlie. Yeah? Ah, uh, ha! I was right! Okay, yes, Marara, you were right. And now I understand why he has the, the, the glove. Now, what are the buzzwords? Spoon! Fire! Toy! Dog! Excellent! Now, make sure that you listen up for these words throughout our fun today and in our next adventure. And right now, it's time for us to go and see what our six new friends are up to on... Playhouse! Something in this place doesn't smell good. Maybe someone has sprayed manure. That's not manure, that's some kind of dirty smell. I'm glad Luigi isn't here. He hates bad smells. At least in Italy he won't have to smell bad smells like this. Name one thing you use to keep the house clean. A bucket. Spell the word bucket. B-U-C-K-E-T. This place stinks. Promise, is that you? Why would it be me? Just because I run cows and help around the farm? Baby. It's not me, I'm telling the truth. It isn't her. So I can smell like something that smells like it's going bad. It could be this plate. It smells like it hasn't been washed in forever. Where's Mr. Zippo? More importantly, what's happened to the playhouse? Somebody has lit a fire inside the playhouse. How dangerous is that? And what about our toys? Something has happened here. Who has been in the playhouse? to do this later but for now let's clean this place up hey don't touch that plate it has good food in it I told you the smell wasn't me maybe someone had a wild party in our playhouse promise is right that smell is me ew mm. what why well where i come from you have to have some kind of a strong smell to gain respect and I am making my smell stronger so that I can gain more respect from the animals around the forest nearby. That's fine, Mr. Zippo. But the playhouse is that. That is right. And it's because I had a party last week. Some of my friends came by and as this is my house, we had a housewarming 
party. It is a mess. There are dirty plates under the table and dirty spoons over here. And there are empty tins under the table. These are dangerous. They could rust up and cut somebody. And there's a sulfuria full of beans over there. That explains the smell. <laughs> you lit a fire inside and some of our toys are spoiled. We share the playhouse together. So if it gets a mess, we all have to clean up. If this is a home, we have to start with the most important thing, cleaning up. But we don't have anything here that we could clean with. We have a borehole so I can get water and brushes and Zach can get buckets. And I can get soap. I can get bags to throw the trash into and I'll dig a hole to throw those beans far, far away. Come on, let's go. Don't do it! Don't! Don't! Ah. I'm glad you got such a big bucket. It was the biggest I could find. That should be enough water to clean the whole house. I still don't know why we are cleaning up when it was Mr. Zippo who made the mess. Mr. Zippo is our friend. Where is everyone else? On the way. Where is Mr. Zippo? No, 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 no. You are not going to clean the house. It's mine. Fine. You made the mess. You can clean it. Mr. Zippo, we share this house. It's our home too. No. You have your own homes. This is mine. Why I am in this place. Yes, it is. But when we leave it like this, we can't play here. Mr. Zippo, we like playing here. And you're very funny, and we like being around you. And we share this place. My mom says, when you share a home with someone, you have to think about them. So you have to take care of this place together. Uh, well, okay. Let's work together like a team and clean this place up. Ah, very good. Oh, pour some water. And don't forget to clean the table. Ah, that's very good. Oh, you're doing very well. Hey, what about that sufuria? Yes, the beans. <laughs> you know what? I've been wondering why the playhouse has food like that. Because Mr. Zippo had a party. It's not just that. I think Mr. Zippo misses his friends, and that's why he's throwing parties to try and get new ones. Really? Yeah, he's lonely. Of course he is, considering how dirty he is. But that can be fixed if he gets a comb and a bath. I found something in the house that will make him feel better and get him at least one friend while we're in school. What is it? You'll see, but first the playhouse needs a cleanup. That is it. We did a very good job today. I have fixed several things off the floor. I have to be very careful. Which is why they are in this rubbish. Rubbish bag over here. I don't think I can wash another dirty plate. Or another dirty sofa rear. We did a good job today. I even cleaned up the salt that was thrown all over the floor. Hey, that was for good luck. I'm just glad that you work together as a team and finish the job. And if we are to share a home, we shall share it like friends. I'm glad to hear that, Mr. Zippo. Yeah, that's nice, Mr. Zippo. But you won't be here all the time. So I brought you a friend to keep you company. Is that for me? Well, I know how much you miss your friends, so I brought you someone to keep you company. His name is Nene. Oh, why, thank you, Anne-Marie. Nene, welcome to our home. Now that we have finished cleaning the house, there's only one thing left to clean. Wait, 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 wait. What, what, what is that? A cop? Just finishing our job. Oh, no, 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 no!
see, it wasn't that bad. It's nice and everything. And everyone is clean. You know, I quite like being clean. And I might wash again. In a year's time! <laughs> <laughs> From Playhouse, this is Crazy Quiz. What was smelling bad in the Playhouse? An old tin of bins was making the Playhouse smell bad. Why did Mr. Zippo need a bath? Mr. Zippo needed a bath because he was very dirty. Queasy is so smart. He answered all the questions correctly. Oh, wait. Did you also answer all the questions correctly? Yes! Excellent. And for you watching us at home, we hope that you answered Quizzy's quiz correctly as well. Marara. <laughs> Marara, are you ever going to take off that oven glove thing you have? Thingy? Yeah. No! <laughs> Come on, it makes me look cool, doesn't it? No! no. Oh, come on! Okay, Mara, I know something else that is actually going to make you cooler. <laughs> oh, I know what that sound means. It's time for... Cool! Hello everyone. Hello teacher Pendo. Welcome to Cool Words. Today's lesson is going to focus on the home and the activities that go on in the home. Now I have a word card here. Now can you all read this word? Who? Okay, very good. Now this word who is used to refer to people. Now we can use it to ask questions about things that people do. Now listen carefully to this story I have on the board. Juma was in the kitchen with his mom and his friend Jack. He said to his mom, Mom, Jack says I can have one of his puppies. Can I mom please? No you can't, said mom. Puppies are a mess and a bother, Juma. Juma was very disappointed. He begged his mom to let him have the puppy and promised to look after it. Jack promised to help him too. So how many people are mentioned in this story? Yes, Fatma? There are three people mentioned in this story. Jack, Juma and mom. Aha, very good. Now, who wanted a puppy? Yes, Victor? Juma wanted a puppy. Aha, very good. Now, who said, no, you can't? Oh, 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 oh it's Chapendo. Yes, Marara. It was mom. Excellent. Who owns the puppies? Yes, Eric? Jack owns them. Aha, very good. And who was disappointed? Yes, Becky? Juma was disappointed. Fantastic effort from all of you. I hope you were also able to get these questions right. Well, now it's time to step outside, away from the home, and catch up with my speedy. That's right. It's time for Out There. Hello, everyone. Today we are visiting some friends of mine here at Uruma. They are a very special group of people. I am so excited. Come with me, good people. Come with me. Hello, hello. Hello. And here we are. These are the friends we are visiting today here at the Christ Chapel Children's Home. Nanya Lisema Nasisi Sima Nyanga. Oh yeah. Nanya Lisema Nasisi Sima Nyanga. Oh yeah. Paka wap. Paka chidi. Paka chidi. Paka. Paka wap. Paka chidi. Paka chidi. Paka down. Hahaha. Wow. I brought some gifts for them, and I am sure they will enjoy. So, come on and follow us. Let's see what they have for us today. Come with 
Come with me, good people. Come with me. The Christ Chapel Children's Home was started seven years ago. It has over 60 children. The children in this home are between 2 to 15 years old. They live a very normal life here, just like you and me. Some of these kids here go to school and some of them are homeschooled. Nasisi, 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 Nasisi. I'm told that today is a school day, so most of the kids are in school. And their good teacher, Miss Fever, has invited me to attend her class. I wonder what she is teaching us today. While the other children are in class, some of the very young ones are outside playing with their toys. They have different toys from the mobile phones, motorcycles and even balls. My friend Tommy here tells me that his favorite toy is this motorcycle. He enjoys playing with it. They have caretakers who look after them, who with the help of other caretakers do all the chores here. However, some of the older kids do help with some of the chores like cleaning utensils after lunch, like spoons, plates and bowls. Others help clean the classroom. I have decided to join in and help them clean the class today. It is very important to clean the places we live in to avoid getting sick. Benson here is a thorough cleaner. He is even cleaning behind the door as Grace joins in to make sure that it is perfectly clean. I'm also told that other than being very good at cleaning, Benson is also a very good dancer. We will see who is the best dancer after we are done cleaning. Wow, <laughs> this is so much fun. <laughs> I think I'll make cleaning my new hobby. And finally, rinsing off the soap from the veranda with some clean water in this bucket. And ta-da, a clean veranda. Christ Chapel Children's Home also has a workshop, which is also a rehabilitation center for young men and women. Here at the workshop, they are taught how to make different items out of recycled materials. Like these beautiful necklaces here. By the time we finish this, it will be like this. Wow! <laughs> they all look so good. And also, these different items over here. <laughs> look! A Christmas tree! Wow! A tortoise made out of bottle tops? And this wonderful motorcycle? All these things are made out of recycled material. This is some amazing artwork right here. Oh, I almost forgot. <laughs> I have a dancing competition with Benson. Okay, here we go. That looks simple enough to me. Here I go. Wow. Whoa. 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 <laughs> Whoa. My moves are great, aren't they? <laughs> but I should confess, Benson is way better at dancing than me. Oh, okay, he is the winner. After that very interesting competition, it's now time for me to leave. But before I go, I have some more gifts for my friends. I'm sure they will enjoy their gifts. 
With all that said and done, it's now time for me to go. Until next time, goodbye. Bye. This is fascinating. Well, yeah, and I really enjoyed going out with Maspidi. Well, so did I. You know, if I could count the number of times that Maspidi has taken us somewhere really cool, I think I'd run out of fingers and toes. True that, Shirley. But right now, let's go and have fun with numbers. Now, do not be left to join us in our exciting number game. Welcome, welcome, welcome! It's time to dive into the number pool and have fun with numbers! Yes, welcome number team. Today it's all about subtraction. Now friends, I have one question. Are you ready? Yes! Yeah! Alright, so what you have to do is roll the dice! After you have rolled the dice, you must subtract the top two facing values. Now, the pink dice has numbers from 1 to 6. The orange dice has numbers from 7 to 12. So in this case, you would be looking for 12 minus 2. The solution is 10. That's right. Then run into the number pool and find the answer hidden amongst the balls and take that to... Johnny! That's right. Now, after your turn, go back to the team. Tag the next team member who will go up to Charlie so that they can roll the dice. Now, remember, number team, that you only have 30 seconds to roll the dice, solve the sum, find the solution in the number pit, and then give the solution to Janet and tag your next team member. That's right. Now, if you get all the subtractions right, then you can take these fabulous books back to your school. And of course, Mara has special prizes for each one of you. If you hear this sound, then you will know that you are out of time. And for you watching us at home, make sure that you play along and see if you can keep up. Now the question goes to our number team. Are you ready? Yes! Oh, we need another one. Are you ready? Yes! Yeah! All right, number team, let's Roll the die! Victor, you're up first. Here are your dice. And Victor, roll the dice. And Victor, you have rolled a 10 and a 4. What's 10 minus 4? 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 6. 6! Go, go find a 6! Six. Find 6 in the number pool! Go find a 6 in the number pool! That's it! Look for it! Look for it! You've got it! You've got it! Take it! Take it! Take it! Tag the next member! Tag the next person! Tag the next person! Who's next? Who's next? Come on, there you go. Roll the dice, come on. And she rolls, and... She rolls a nine and a six. What is nine minus six? Nine minus, nine minus six. six. What? what did you say? Three. Three. Go find three. Go look for three. Go look for three. Oh! There you go, there you go. Give it, give it to the person who rolled the dice. Give it, give it to Becky. Give it back. Becky, give it to John. Excellent. All right, who's next? Who's next? Eric? Here you are, roll the dice. <laughs> and Eric rolls. That is a nine and a three. What is nine minus three? Six. Six, find the six. Go find six. Go find six. Find the six. Find the number six. Yeah, between oh. your legs, between your legs. You got one, you got one. Pick it up, pick it up, come on. Oh, give it up, 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 give it up. Thank you. That's it. Tag the next team member. Tag the next person. Fatma, it's your turn. There you go. And Fatma rolls, and it, oh. it is a seven and a six. What's seven minus six? Seven minus six. What's seven minus six? Seven. Seven. Help her, help Take her. One. 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 It's all right. Go find, find the one. Find the one. Find one. Find one. Give it to Janet. Give it to Janet. Give it to Janet. Oh, oh my. Right. Is that time is up. Victor, now you roll ten and four. 10 take away 4 is what? 10 take Faster, you guys got it yeah. earlier. Six. 6, are you six. sure? I heard a 6 yeah. in Victor, can I hear it from you? 10 take away 4 is what? 1, 2, 3, 4. 6. 6. six. Alright, let's see what you gave us. It is. Oh. is it a 6? Is it a 6? It, it feels like a 9 in here. Oh, are you no, sure? No, 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 are you sure it was a 6? I can't look, I can't look, I can't look. Oh! Oh, 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 oh brilliant, brilliant. Well done. Very well done, Victor. 
second person to roll the dice was Becky. Becky. Yeah, thank you. All right, Becky, you rolled nine and six. Nine take away six is what? Three. Three. What is it? What is what it? Three. 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 Three in there. I don't think we have threes in there. Oh, I don't know. Come yeah, on. You got to check. You got to check. And oh, it's yeah. a three. <laughs> Well done, I can see how excited you're all getting at uh, getting the sounds correct. Third person, Eric, another nine. Nines seem to be very lucky with this oh, yes, uh, number yes. game. All right, Eric, you rolled a nine and three. Nine take away three is what? Six. 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 Oh, that was, yeah. You are really sure about that you one. You guys right? sound very sure about that one. Let's not waste time on it. Oh, yeah. oh, Last person to roll the dice was Fatma. Now, Fatma, you rolled seven and six. Seven take away six is what? One. One, right? Wow. Are you sure? One. Are you sure? Fatma? Are you sure? Are you sure? I, I don't hear Fatma, I want to hear it from you. Seven take away six is what? One. Are you, is that what you gave me? Yeah. Because you were very fast, I have to admit. Oh, right. It's a one. Yeah. Oh, well done. Number two for getting all the sounds correct. Come on, let's clap for them. Yes. Yeah. Woo! Number team, you were fantastic. You solved four of the sums. Now that can only mean one thing. Victor, you're the team captain. Come on up. Congratulations. This is for the good performance of your team. Show everyone at home a round of applause. And that is not all that you get today. You each get a very special prize from Moi. Come on and get your prizes. Come, right, come, go, come. Go. Come on. <laughs> now, that was something super exciting. Do you see the way all of them dove into the number pit? Pretty intense, those kids. And very fast, I have to say. Very, very fast. But right now, it's time for us to move on to something else. Let's go and hang out with Dunia and see what she's going to be showing us on Our World. everyone my name is Dunia and welcome to our world today we are visiting a potter a potter is someone who makes things out of clay which is like a very sticky mud we are going to watch how they take this tub of muddy water and turn it into this beautiful teapot seems like magic to me First, they use an electric mixer to churn the hard clay at the bottom of the tub into the water. It looks like hard work. Then, they put the mixture of water and clay into a bucket and carry it to a box which filters out any stones or hard bits that they do not want in there. Oh, look at all that mud. It almost looks like a big bucket of chocolate. Now, they are looking for something that they can use to brush the mud and help push the mixture through the filter at the bottom of the box and into the pool below. They will collect this smoother clay from the pool below and use it to make something with. Here is some clay that they prepared earlier. Peter is preparing it for his pottery machine. When it is ready, he begins to create something. Can you guess what he's making? Let's 
sawa na tuli sijawahi sema na we na leo na kurushia neno wewe kweli ni kama malaika hawaza wena fikira zangu yote kweli ni juu yako wewe ni viera di kama nakosa kwa nina kama mimi ni kuowe Did you manage to guess what it is? Tada! It's a ball. The ball is then put into a very hot oven that is made for clay. The heat makes it go hard. When it comes out, it is left to rest like these vases until they are ready to be painted and put in the shop for sale. Here are some of the beautiful products Peter and his team have created. <laughs> What a wonderful skill to have. I want to make something now, don't you? That's all we have time for today. But see you next week for another adventure on our world. See ya! Dunia is actually really interesting. She makes the world very, very beautiful, doesn't she? Yes! Well, I hope you at home also had a good time learning more about our world. Well, there's still so much fun with numbers and with words coming up. But we are going to take a short, short, short break. <laughs> oh, good. Then I'll go look for a recipe for baking a cake. Hey, Ma, hurry along. You only have a few minutes. Okay. All right, do not go too far. We'll be back in a bit right here on the Nose Zone. Hello. Now, as you know, this is the Nose Zone. And as always, we have a lot of fun while we learn. Now, do you remember everything that you have been learning so far? If not, do not worry because we have something very special just for you. Now, we have a free, fun-packed booklet that comes with everything we have learned throughout Term 1. All you have to do is just ask your parents to help you send us a text with your name and address to... 30606. So do not be left out. Come on, get on texting on... Three zero six zero six. Hello. Now, as you know, this is the note. And as always, we have a lot of fun while we learn. Now, do you remember everything that you have been learning so far? If not, do not worry because we have something very special just for you. Now, we have a free, fun-packed booklet that comes with everything we have learned throughout Term 1. All you have to do is just ask your parents to help you send us a text with your name and address to... 30606. So do not be left out. Come on, get on texting on... 30606. Back to the no zone where the fun never stops. Now today's show is all about home and activities in the home. That is right. Now who's going to tell us what the buzzwords are? Spoon, fire, toy, no. Excellent. Now make sure that you look out for these buzzwords throughout our fun. Oh dear, the heat for baking a cake is too hot. <laughs> okay, Marara, you know, um, 
That's probably the reason why you should always have an adult with you when you bake a cake. I know something else that is as hot as Mara's oven. <laughs> It's time for... Hot Numbers! Hello everyone! Hello Teacher Spender! Welcome to Hot Numbers. We've been having a great time in our Hot Numbers lessons. Oh yes, we have. We have been counting, adding, subtracting, and I didn't know it would be so much and I have become so clever. <laughs> oh, Marara, you've just been doing the easier sums. Well, Teacher Pendra, that's because I am really smart. I can do any addition and subtraction, and I'll get all my sums right. Now, last week I wanted to do a subtraction sum with three digits, but you said, well, we do not have time. Okay, Marara, I will give you another sum to subtract, and I hope you get it right. So, what is 868? Take away 544. Wow! Now, that number looks so big, but I can do it. Um, if I remember well, I first need to put my sum in column method. Mm -hmm. So, I'll start with the ones, then move on to the tens, then finish with hundreds. And my answer would be um, that's four, that's two, that's three, um, 324. Okay, Marara, let's see whether you are right. Okay, so you're absolutely right. We get 324. Yes, yes, yes. yes. You see, Teacher Pendo, I'm clever. Oh, can I do another one, please? Uh, please, well, please, 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 another one? Unfortunately, Marara, we have to move on and look at subtraction sums with missing numbers. Now, we did missing numbers with addition. Today, we will do missing numbers with subtraction. Uh, Teacher Pendo, yes. can you remind us how we got our missing numbers in the addition sums? Certainly, Marara. Now, here on the board, I have four addition sums with missing numbers. Okay, now remember all you have to do is minus the number you have from the answer given. So let's start with the first one. Who would like to try this one? Yes, Godfrey? 8 take away 2 equals 6. 8 take away 2 equals 6. So that means 6 plus 2 gives us 8. Very good. Okay, what about the next sum? Yes, Charlene? 9 take away 5 is equal to 4. Mm -hmm, very good. So that means 5 plus 4 is 9. Excellent. Moving on to the next sum. Who wants to try this one? Yes, Portia? 8 take away 4 is equal to 4. Mm -hmm, very good. So that means 4 plus 4 gives us 8. And how about the last one? Yes, Alfred? 12 take away 6 equals 6. Very good. So our missing number here is 6. Okay, now let us now look at subtraction with missing numbers. Alright, so on my table here, I have 8 sticks. Now let's look at the first sum. 8 take away dash is uh, 2. So what we are going to do is take away 2 sticks. Okay, so let's take away 2 sticks. 1... Two. two. Very good. Now let's count the remaining sticks. One, two, One, two three, three, four, five, six. six. Excellent. So that means eight take away six gives us two. Okay, let's look at the next sum. Fifteen take away dash is six. So how many sticks do I have on my table, Marara? Um, you have... Uh 15 sticks. Mm -hmm, very good. So what do I do? Uh, you will take away six sticks. Okay, let's count together everyone. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so let's see how many sticks do we have left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine. Aha. Uh -huh. So we have nine sticks left. So that means our missing number is what, Marara? Nine. Very good. 
So nine is the missing number. Uh -huh. Excellent. Now on the board, I have a few other sums. Now you may use the sticks that you have in front of you and then write down the sum using the pen and paper you have right in front of you. Let's start counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five. So let's start with the first sum. Nine take away dash gives us two. Yes, Godfrey? Nine take away two equals seven. Mm -hmm, very good. So the missing number here is seven. Brilliant. What about the next sum? What's our missing number? Yes, Shalin? Seven. Seven. Okay. So 11 take away 7 gives us 4. So our missing number here is 7. All right. Moving on to the next one. Yes, Portia? 6 take away 5 is equal to 1. Aha. Uh -huh. So our missing number is 1. 6 take away 1 gives us 5. Okay. And what about the next one? Yes, Alfred? 18 take away 9 equals 9. Mm -hmm. Very good. So the missing number here is 9. Well done, all of you. That was a really good lesson. And how did you get on at home? Why don't you keep practicing? Oh, uh, Teacher Pendo? Yes, Marara. Uh, not too fast. Uh, can I do one more sum? Just one more sum? I'm sorry, Marara. We've run out of time. But that doesn't mean that you can't keep practicing. Well, we hope to see you real soon for some more hot numbers. Right now, though, let's see what's happening in Creative Zone. Hello and welcome to Creative Zone. Today we are going to create some art. Look around you. What do you see? Do you see any art? We use art to decorate and make our house look individual. But today I'm going to show you how we can make a piece of art that is going to make our house look different. And the piece of art is going to be an African mask. African masks have been with us for a very long time. They used to be used by soldiers for protection. And they used to be made from wood. But today, I'm going to show you how we can create an African mask to decorate our houses using a paper plate. So this is just an ordinary paper plate that I'm going to use as my base for my mask. First, what I need to do is to make a hole, which is going to be our place to hold the mask in place. And I'm going to use 
a small nail, you can use a nail or a twig to create the holes. Just a bit above the center, towards the end of the plate. Next, we're going to cut out holes for the eyes using a knife. And again, if it comes to using knives, knives are dangerous. So ask an adult to cut for you the eyes. I'm going to cut two eyes, most at the center. Next, I'm going to take a strip of paper to create the nose and the mouth. I'm going to fold my paper into two. Take the scissors. Again, scissors can be dangerous. So please ask an adult to help you cut. This is going to be my nose and a fold just a bit for pasting. That's for my nose. And I'll take another color for my mouth. I fold the paper into two so that when I cut one side of the mouth, it replicates and makes a uniform both sides. And I'll paste it just a bit under the nose like that. So this is our mask, and to make it look a bit scary, I'm going to put a pair of teeth. And I'm taking the white paper, fold it into two, and cut out the teeth. And there, we have a beautiful mask. I, feel, I still feel that it needs a bit more color, brown. And while it dries, let's try and remember if we can mix the color brown that we learned from a previous program. Remember we need yellow, blue and red to create brown. I hope it's dry now. and I'm going to paint the inner part to give us a strong brown. Make sure to control your paint so that it doesn't spill over the other colors and over the papers. After your brown paint is dry, we can use white paint to create details on the mask.
and their own alpha, own African mask. Isn't it beautiful? Finally, we're going to add some strings so that we can hang the mask with. Our beautiful African mask and it's ready to decorate our home with. I hope you had fun. Bye bye. Now that was a creative piece. Yeah, I loved it. Yeah, me too. And do you think we can make some yeah. All right, just mask stop. Well, we hope you at home enjoyed that because right now it's time for the big moment. It's time to put our brains into gear and see how well we play with our words and our letters. Yeah, that's right. It's time for spell it. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> spell it, spell it. <laughs> Animal, Animal, chapter, building, narrow, building. respect, respect. deep, vegetable, work. 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 work, work. Welcome to spell it. This is the game show where we play with our words and our letters. <laughs> now, Godfrey, Alfred, Portia, and Sherlyn, you are about to step out of the shadows and into the spotlight to compete for the title of today's Nose on Spelling Champion. That's right. Now, the winner of today's competition will win their very own Nose on Dictionary and a very special prize for themselves. Now, each contestant has just 25 seconds to spell correctly as many words as they can. If you would like a word repeated, simply say repeat and the word will be repeated for you. Are the rules clear? Yes! All right, now all of today's words will be coming from our topic of... Ma? Home and activities in the home. Ooh, so it's a big, big topic. Let's get straight into it. Godfrey, you're up first. Come on down and step into the spotlight. Godfrey, your 25 seconds starts now. New. N-E-W. Wet. Repeat. Wet. W E T. Line. L I N E. Clean. C L E A N. Mother. M O T H E R. Comb. C O M B. Bucket. B U S B U C. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. All right. Alfred, you're up next. Come on down and step into the spotlight. Alfred, your 25 seconds starts now. Hot. H-O-T. Toy. T-O-Y. Cold. C-O-L-D. Plate. Repeat. Plate. P-L-A-T-E. Father. F-A-T-H-E-R. Step. S. T E P Spoon S P O O N House H H O U S E Family Alright oh. well, well, well done Well done Portia it's your turn now Come on down and step into the spotlight Portia your 25 seconds starts now Big Repeat Big B I G Pot P O T Salt S A L T Heavy H E A V Y Brother B R O T H E R Wash W A S H Towels T O W E L Wipe Well right. done, Bosch. Well Bosch. done. <laughs> and finally, Charlie, it's your turn now. Come on down and step into the spotlight. Charlene, your 25 seconds starts now. Tin. T-I-N. Dry. Repeat. Dry. D-I-V. Fire. 
F I R T. Dirty. Repeat. Dirty. D I R T. Sister. S I S T E R. Door. D O O. Well done, well Charlene. Done. Well done. Now, well done, all of you. Charlie, can you please reveal the scores? <laughs> well, Marara, it was a very strong showing from our friends today. But of course, there can only be one dictionary given out. Now, that being said, I will start with Godfrey. Godfrey, you ran out of time when you were spelling the word bucket. B-U-C-K-E-T. But Nonetheless, you spelled one, two, three, four, five, six words correctly. Let's give Moran the applause. Congratulations, Godfrey. Alfred. Now, you spelled one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight words correctly. Let's give Moran the applause. Well done, Alfred. Portia. Although the word that Janet had said was towels, you spelled the word towel correctly. Now since it still has to do with home and activities in the home, we will give you that word, which means you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven words spelled correctly. Let's give a round of applause. Congratulations, Portia. And finally, Charlene. Although you spelt the word dirt correctly, Janet had said the word dirty. That's D-I-R-T-Y. However, dirt still has something to do with home and activities in the home. So, you have four words spelt correctly. Let's give a round of applause. Alright, now this means that the winner of today's Nose and Spelling competition with eight words spelled correctly is Alfred! Step forward, Alfred. Congratulations. You are today's Nose and Spelling champion. Here is your dictionary. Show everyone at home your dictionary. A round of applause! Well, congratulations, Alfred. And of course, very well done to all of you for spelling so many words correctly. And for that, you each get a storybook. So come on up and get your storybooks. All right, now after that intense round of spell it, we need to chill. Definitely, let's go and join Teacher Pendo for more wordplay on Cool Words. Welcome back to Cool Words. Now look at the items on my table and tell me what you see. Oh, Teacher Pendo. Yes, Marara. Well, I see a, a cup. Mm -hmm. What's a cup for? Well, it's used for drinking. Very good. Someone else tell me what you see? Yes, Fatma? I can see a sieve. It's for sieving. Very good. Okay, someone else? Yes, Victor? I can see a comb. It is for combing your hair. Well done. Someone else? What do you see? Yes, Eric? It's a soap. It is used for bathing and washing hands. Excellent. Well done. Now, I will hold different items and I'd like you to answer the questions and tell me what you see. Are you all ready? Yes. yes. Very good. So what is this? Oh, oh did you find out? Yes, Marara. Uh, that is a plate. Very good. And what is a plate for? Well, it's used for putting food on. Aha, uh -huh, excellent. And what about this? Yes, Fatma? It is a bucket. Aha, uh -huh, very good. And what is it for? Yes, Victor? It is used for holding water. Excellent. And what about this? What is this? Yes, Eric? It is a spoon. Excellent. What is it for? Yes, Becky? 
It is used for eating food with. Uh -huh. Fantastic effort from all of you. You can identify objects in the home and say what they are used for. Why don't you have a look at things in your home and write sentences to show what they are used for. Now sadly we've run out of time for today's cool words but we hope to see you next time to have fun with words. Right now it's time for Marara's favorite. Oh yeah, it's time for Story Zone. <laughs> Let's continue with the wonderful story of Ngamia the camel. The children finished their lunch quickly and went to the kitchen. They washed their plates and spoons. After making sure that the camel was safely locked in their bedroom, they went out to look for grass in the cow shed. Safe carried the grass, Asha carried clean water in a bucket. The baby camel ate the grass and drank the water. After a short while, it lay on the floor and slept. The children got bored of looking at the sleeping camel. Let's go outside and play, said Safe. Which game do you want to play? asked Asha. We'll play many games, let us go, Safe said. They locked the door and went outside. As they were playing, they saw their aunt. They ran to greet her. They took her to the house. As their parents were greeting Aunt Halima, they heard a funny sound. Brr, brr. Their parents were surprised. Mommy asked, what is that sound? Daddy asked, is it the sound of an animal? Then they heard the sound again. Brr, brr. It sounds like an animal, said Aunt Halima. Daddy went to check if the animal was in the house. When he heard the sound again, he knew it had come from the children's bedroom. When he tried to open the door, it was locked. Then he asked, where is the key to this door? <gasps> Asha and Safe were afraid. Where is the key? Daddy asked again. Safe said, here it is, Daddy. When Daddy opened the door, a very bad smell <gasps> came from the room. Then to his surprise, he saw a camel in the children's bedroom. <gasps> Mommy asked, how did that camel enter the house? The children kept quiet. Then mommy asked them again, do you know how the camel got in here? Asha told their parents what had happened. Then daddy said, my children, you have been very kind to this animal. That is good, but you should have told us about it. Maybe this animal belongs to someone and it is lost. Also, camels cannot live in our house. Look at how the camel's dung, and Rurin has made your room dirty. We shall take the camel outside. Then I'm going to report to the chief about it. The chief will tell other people about the camel. After some time, the owner will be found, Mommy said. The children were very sorry for not telling their parents about the camel. They cleaned their room and promised not to do such a thing. For the next one week, the owner of the camel was not found. Asha and Safe played with their new friend. They ran with him around the compound. The camel even let them put bags on his back. They decided to call him Gamia. They made sure that Gamia had enough food and water. One day, a man called Ali knocked at their gate. He had come with the chief. Daddy and mommy were in the house. The man said that he had lost his baby camel. The camel was in a lorry with other camels. They were being taken to the agriculture show. The baby camel got lost when the lorry stopped near the village after an accident with another car. The camels were not hurt. However, the door of the lorry opened because of the accident. Some camels ran away. When Ali was shown the camel, he knew it was his because of the mark on his back. He was very happy. He promised to buy the whole family tickets to the agriculture show. No way! He also promised the family free rides on their back of his camel. No way! That's awesome! Asha and Safe were very excited. They were also sad that their new friend, Gamia, was leaving them. Ali wanted to leave, but the baby camel refused to follow him. 
Can you buy the camel for us, Daddy? We love Ngamia, the children said. Mr. Ali heard what the children said. I can sell it to you for 3,000 shillings, he said to Daddy. What? That's very cheap, Daddy said. He gave the money to Mr. Ali. Mr. Ali smiled. Thank you, I will give you the camel. A camel needs grass, leaves, and water. It also needs medicine. I will send someone to bring the medicine to you, Mr. Ali said. The whole family was very happy. They took care of Ngamia. Ngamia grew big. Asha and Saif also grew big. They began to ride on him and made many friends because of Ngamia. The end. From the story zone, this is Crazy Quiz. How did Ali lose his baby camel? Ali lost his baby camel after the car crashed. How did Ali know that this was his camel? He knew that it was his camel because of the mark on its back. And finally, how much did Ali want for his camel? Ali wanted 3,000 Kenya shillings for his camel. Oh, 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 oh. Now, Quizzy makes everything seem so easy. Now, do you think he knows how to bake? I bet he does, Mara. Now, did you enjoy answering those questions like Queasy did? Yes! Excellent. And for you watching us at home, we are glad that you are able to join us. And we are always happy when you make it to the studio. Now, remember, we will be back right here next week with more games, more fun, and more learning right here on The Nozo. That's right. So, come on, everyone including you. Let's say goodbye. Bye! Bye.